Welcome, everybody, to the Heart Coherence Collaborative. We're so excited. We have our good friend Dawson Church back with us today. Welcome. Dawson has guided us in his bliss brain meditation, and he's come on so many different times and uh, been a great member of our community. So thank you for being back with us again today. Tyler and Lee, I have so enjoyed every other time. I know we'll have a lot of fun today as well. Always. Yeah, today we're diving into a topic that I don't know that there's anyone out, out there better that, to learn from than you, and that's tapping. So you have guided uh, so many different tapping exercises. You have a whole institute. So we want to learn to start about how you got into tapping, its power, and then maybe if you could guide us in a little tapping, that would be great. Well, uh, the way I got into tapping was, was really funny. I used to have a, a good friend in the town I lived in back then who was a Gestalt therapist. And Gestalt therapy has been around for 60, 70 years, and it's a fabulous method. But this guy was really eccentric, and um, he had a mane of white hair, looked like Gandalf. He had these great big eyebrows that sort of merged into his hair at the outside, and it, it is he it was just this this wild character. He drove an old white Chevy Nova, ancient old car, and on the back bumper there was a sticker that had a picture of a UFO and a sign that said, "Ship happens." <laughs> oh, and he was also a conspiracy theorist and believed in the Y2K bug. This is like 1999. And so the belief then that was that planes would fall from the sky, every computer in the world would stop working, blah, 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 blah. He was stockpiling food in his basement. So he told me that we use, you can tap on acupuncture points like this and it makes people better. I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> And so he gave me a piece of paper with the instructions, and I threw it contemptuously in my slush pile. And then one day, a few months later, I was really anxious about uh, a building I was selling. I was selling an old hotel I owned, and the escrow was falling through, and I was really anxious about the escrow. And so I just glanced at that piece of paper and thought, I'll give this a try. I began tapping, and in a few minutes, knowing nothing other than where the points were, my anxiety dropped 50 percent now that was intriguing because i was a kind of an anxious person back in the late 1990s and so to have my uh anxiety drop so far so fast and a mechanical method as well really intrigued me so i began to look into eft i began to study some of the techniques of the the psychologist called Roger Callahan, who popularized EFT, and then all the people who went after him and helped develop EFT. Eventually, I wound up writing the official manual, the, the, the subsequent version of the manual of for EFT called the EFT Manual. And then at this point, there are over 200 clinical trials showing that EFT is effective for phobias and for sports performance, for anxiety, for depression, for pain, incredibly effective for physical pain, autoimmune diseases, and all all kinds of other things, including the fact that it regulates your brain waves, it changes your gene expression, and changes various stress hormones like cortisol. So I've had this long, um, if, uh, long history with EFT, and then just today, Kyle and Leah, I was tapping it myself. I woke up in the morning, I felt great, nothing wrong. I just tapped to regulate my energy flows in my body and felt even better. So there you have it, <laughs> the whole story. <laughs> So what actually is causing the relaxation of tapping? What's the mystery? It is so interesting what's going on. So there are different kinds of electricity, and we know about static electricity, and we know about the kinds of electricity that are, is conducted by, by wires. Uh, some kinds of, of electricity are wireless. But there's one kind of electricity. It's used in sonar in ships. It's used in uh, the gas barbecue. Most of us are familiar with turning on our gas barbecue or our gas stove, and it goes click, 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 click. And that is pressure-produced electricity. So that pressure produces a spark. Same thing when we tap. We're tapping on usually some part of our connective tissue in our body underneath our skin, and that slight pressure in acupressure or acupuncture with needles produces a small electrical charge. That charge travels through our body really, really quickly, 
and helps us reset our energy system in our body. So our electrical system in our bodies resets. And the way you see this, this happen in terms of brain energy is that we have basic brain waves. We have our highest wave is called gamma. Our slowest wave is called delta. In between, we have theta and alpha. And you want to have a balanced set of brain waves. When we're thinking more, we have more beta waves. When we're sleeping, we have more delta and theta waves. But what EFT does is it really quickly reduces the wave of anxiety. And that wave is called high amplitude beta. And so when we tap, we see an immediate shift. So somebody, for example, is remembering, say, like right now, we have volunteers work with, with, with refugees from, from the war in Ukraine. They have seen and heard things so terrible that, that you and I can hardly imagine them. And when they're talking about those, those atrocities, they are highly stressed. So we see a lot of that, that brainwave, high amplitude beta in, in their brains. They have PTSD, they're very depressed, they're very anxious. When we tap with them, it's almost like magic. That brainwave energy changes, that high amplitude beta shrinks dramatically, and then it restores alpha, theta, and delta, and then the beginning of gamma. So their brain energy is changing very, very quickly. When that happens, we also have measured in several studies, genes change. So the genes that code for inflammation in your body, that, that suppress inflammation, are dialed up. Immunity genes are dialed up. Stress hormones like cortisol drop precipitously when we tap. So inside our bodies, inside the mechanics of our physiology, all these things are happening as a result of regulating our energy system through tapping on those acupuncture points. One thing I would love to um, just, oh, go ahead, go ahead. You have, oh, if you have I'm a good so question. <laughs> well, I do, I definitely do. Like one thing that we hear a lot from people that we work with is that they uh, feel like when they go to meditate, they are in the highly analytical mind. And so it seems like tapping would be perfect uh, as a tool to assist in going deeper into meditation, maybe something you do to start out your meditations. Yeah, I use it um, both when I start meditation to dissipate any lingering worries, thoughts, concerns, distractions. So I, I tap to release all of those things. And then when I'm in the most profound part of meditation, often I'll tap just to cement that experience in my body. So my body is now, I have all these luscious neurotransmitters like anandamide, serotonin, dopamine, hormones like oxytocin flowing in my brain. I want to feel that good. And so I remind my body of that by tapping. So yeah, both before meditation to release distractions, at the end of meditation to cement in that, that good feeling. What are some of the most miraculous, amazing results you've seen in to That's a, a really interesting question, Leah. And on my website, we have thousands of studies, thousands of stories of people who have used tapping. And what they talk about is all kinds of very rapid shifts. One of the most interesting ones to me is long-term pain. So usually I do a lot of live workshops. Some of them are virtual workshops. Some of them are in-person workshops in places like Omega Institute and Esalen and CIIS University and various other places doing these in person. But whether they're virtual or uh, they are they are in person, I often pick a person from the audience who has chronic that's long-term pain. Like I worked with one lady who was in her late seventies and she had a um, had had a rotator cuff operation. And ever since that day, she had had chronic pain in her left biceps joint. So it was an everyday thing. Every day she had pain from, from, from the, the surgery and from the recovery from that, that operation. And so here, this seemed like a totally mechanical kind of physical problem, uh, nothing spiritual or psychological to it at all, just a mechanical issue with her body. And so we wondered, as she was part of a, a big audience of people watching me do this with her, whether Tappy could have any effect on this. And so again, long-term chronic pain. And as we tapped her issue, her pain level did not drop. But I thought maybe there's something 
emotional underlying that. So I said, give the pain a name. And she said, Fred. When she said Fred, I thought, hmm, there's an emotion in there. Do you know anyone called Fred? And she said, my ex-husband. <laughs> oh, no, we're getting to the emotions. So he tapped on a lot of her emotions around her ex-husband. He wasn't abusive. He wasn't a, a, a mean guy. But it had not been a very good or satisfying marriage. And so um, there's a lot of emotion around his name. We tapped all that down. Now, we use a measure in EFT called SUD, or Subjective Units of Distress. And people will give me their pain score, 0 through 10, first, first of all, then we'll tap, then we'll measure it again. So we know if you're improving. We know if your emotions are going down. If you're angry, frustrated, overwhelmed, whatever the emotion is, we will measure that at the beginning and end of a tapping session that lasts maybe five minutes or so. And so her emotion around fret was a 10 out of 10. As we tapped, it went down and down and down. And eventually she just was pretty much neutral around the name Fred and her ex-husband. We then, I then said to her, okay, what is the pain in your biceps now? And she sort of jiggled it around and she said, I can't feel it at the moment, but I'm sure I'll feel it if I raise my arm. So she raised her arm. Nothing. It was down to a zero. And there are many studies. There are probably over 20 studies now which measure physical pain. And they find that in just a short tapping session, people's pain goes down to a zero. So we found this over and over and over again. I used to actually videotape people. And I, I, I'd ask for a person in the audience with chronic pain of a purely physical nature. But after a while, I quit asking for those volunteers because I've got so many videos of them at this point that we've made our point many, many times. So th th those are some of the more miraculous cures I, I found. Autoimmune diseases, people with fibromyalgia, say, for 5, 10, 15 years, and their muscle soreness and their pain just goes away. In a randomized controlled trial, about two-thirds of people improved fully or completely from fibromyalgia. So autoimmune diseases, um, all kinds of stress-related problems are, uh, EFP is affected for, affected for. And so we have these just thousands of stories of miraculous change after tapping. Can you talk about if someone has trauma from their childhood, how do you address that? Do you go back and specifically work through memories with tapping? Do you address the feeling where it's at? How do you work with people on that? There are a few different ways of working with people with trauma, and we recommend if you're traumatized or have PTSD, you actually work with a certified practitioner because trauma and recalling traumatic memories can re-traumatize you. So if you have these um, circuits set up during a, a terrible tra traumatic experience, these neural circuits are firing, and you remember them, the same circuits fire. If they keep firing and you keep remembering the trauma, those circuits get bigger and faster at firing. So that's why you don't want to go recall your childhood traumas without somebody with you to support you and help you process them. So we really train our practitioners carefully in avoiding that's called re-traumatization. So we recommend if you're traumatized, you, you work with a practitioner, what that person will have you do typically is confront the memories. Now, they may initially have you do tapping on an easy target. Go tap on your fear of spiders first. Go tap on your um, your worry about a promotion you are wanting in the future. Go tap on something easy first. Get confidence with tapping. But then you tap on the practitioner. Now, after a while, you're tapping on traumatic memories. You're tra tapping on, on early life memories. Um, this one woman whose, uh, whose story I was reading in the, this last week was talking about how she, she, she worked on on the trauma of her mother trying to have an abortion and get rid of her when she was in the womb. A terrible trauma. And then her mom, when she, when, he, when she was unable to abort the fetus, tried to commit suicide. This is about as deep and as early a trauma as you get. And yet after tapping, she was able to clear all those old memories, but it's important to work with a practitioner because the practitioner is going to support you. They're trained. They're trained not to re-traumatize you. They're trained in a whole bunch of techniques. Like um, one of those, for example, we train practitioners in is using the body. Don't try and work these things out only at the level of the mind and thoughts and memory. 
how does your body feel? When you are two years old, it's much less important what you think is happening than what your body is recording. And in that wonderful phrase of Bessel van der Kolk's, the body keeps the score. And so your body's keeping the score all through your life of these insults. And then you work with an EFT practitioner, a trained, certified, they're called clinical EFT practitioners. Work with a clinical EFT practitioner, you then find that they can work with you even on things like womb memories. And it's amazing to watch people after only two or three sessions sometimes, they have just cleared all that stuff. One woman I worked with on stage again, stood up after a session she'd been sexually abused as a child for 15 years and she stood up afterwards and she stood up and looked at the audience and said nothing that man could do could take away my joy and she gave a huge smile and we believe, believe her we could feel that she'd really cleared all of this again there was a very long session with a very um self-aware psychologist she was a medical a mental health professional, but she was ready to clear even something like 15 years of, of sexual abuse. And she did in that very, very deep, long emotional session. So it is possible to have these kinds of miracles occur, both psychologically and physically. If somebody uh, in our group wanted to get involved with tapping uh, in your organization, what would be the first steps for them to reach out well the first thing is just to download my free mini manual off my website and so just go to my website dawsongift.com download the manual it's about 60 pages long read it to give you, yourself a sense of tapping it'll take you about half an hour and then at the very end there's eft on a page and it's so simple that in the one page at the end of, of the mini manual you'll be able to just lead yourself through your first tapping experience then take a class then if you would like to tap for a particular thing, we have courses. We have a course for having a great relationship and tapping away all the obstacles to a great relationship. We have some phenomenal weight loss programs and our weight loss programs are interesting because people, when they do a six week program, they lose weight. They lose maybe four or five pounds, maybe a pound a week. In the year after they finish our program, they lose an average of two pounds a month. They keep on dropping. That's 22 pounds in a year is the average weight loss after our program. So for losing weight, for having a great relationship, for anxiety, depression, insomnia, we've now had over 10,000 people go through our very simple little $20 insomnia program, but it has remarkable results in releasing insomnia. So try a, a self-paced program like that. Get a practitioner, find somebody you feel comfortable with, try out a few different practitioners. We have an app called Stress Solution. You can download and then work with the practitioner there anytime you want. There are practitioners literally waiting, standing by 24 seven, and they will actually tap with you whenever you're, you're in distress. So there are lots of ways into this ecosystem of tapping, and there's no reason to keep on dragging all this old traumatic stress behind you. Tap it away, do it yourself if it's, if it's PTSD, get someone to help you, and you have no idea how much better your life can be once you release all that old stuff. So that's why I'm such a, uh, I'm so passionate about letting people know about this because um, I've seen it work for thousands of people and I know it can work for everyone who is with us today as well. Great, could you give us a little taste of the tapping? Can we do a little uh, intro? Yeah, just uh, for a quick sense of what it can do, Think about something in the last two weeks that bothered you. And when you remember this thing, it still has some kind of emotional impact. So you have a number, zero through 10. Zero is no emotion. 10 out of 10 is uh, call 911, get me to a psychiatrist fast. <laughs> that's a 10. A zero, you pick something that's, that's moderate, four, five, six, something like that. Don't pick something that's highly traumatic, but make, make it recent as well in the last two weeks mildly annoying thing and give it a name too was it standing in line at the bank was it uh not being given the job you wanted or the assignment you wanted was it a um experience with your child or parent or significant other so think of an event and give it a number zero through ten Okay, do each of you have one? 
Okay. And then just think of the name of your event. Just just the name is all we need. Need We don't need to know what the event is. And this is really handy too, because we work with people who are so traumatized, they don't want to even describe the event, but the name is all we need to get started. So think of it about the name of the event. And so start with this side of the hand point. It's on the small intestine meridian of acupuncture. You tap there, keep your eyes open and just say, even though I remember this event, say it out loud. I am okay now. I am breathing. I survived. And I'm basically okay. And I'm thinking about the event. Okay, keep your eyes open. I'm thinking about the event. This emotionally triggering event. And I'm thinking about the most emotionally triggering part of this event. And I'm noticing that I'm okay. Right here and now I'm okay. My life's not perfect. Never has been, never will be. <laughs> but I've survived this far. <laughs> I'm safe at this very moment. I got over this event. I'm remembering it now. And I'm breathing. And I'm safe. Tap on the top of your head, right in the middle of your head. And just really focus on the event. Notice your breath. And just say your one or two word title of the event out loud. Squabble. Okay, whatever the event is, say the name out loud. Notice your breath. Take your first two fingers and tap where your eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose. Keep your eyes open. Really focus on the most triggering part of this event. What did you see, touch, taste, feel, hear during the most emotive part of the event? Take those same two fingers, tap on the side of your eye. Keep your eyes open. Notice your breathing. Think about the most emotional part of the event. And notice your breathing. Tap under your eyes. Notice your breathing. Think about the event. Notice the tension in your body and release it. Release all the emotions as you tap. Think about the event and notice your breathing. Tap onto your nose. Tap on your chin. Feel your breathing, think about the event. Tap on your end of your collarbones. Notice your breath again. Cross your arms, tap under your arms. 
think about the event. Notice your breath. And tap one more time on the side of your hand. Take one more nice deep breath. Tap on the other hand. Stop tapping, relax your body, relax your shoulders, make sure your whole body is relaxed. And then think about the event again and get your new number. What is your number right this very moment when you think about the event? I'm at a zero. I am too. I, I realized it wasn't even the event that was causing the thing. <laughs> so, something completely different. That was why I was upset. Yeah. I'm so glad. What was your first number? Uh, an eight. An eight. Yeah. And then How about we yours, Leah? I was a seven. Seven. Yeah. You see, we didn't do any psychotherapy. We didn't do any energy magic. We just uh, shifted your body's systems by tapping on acupuncture points that regulates you. Again, it's that piece of electricity moving through the body system. It's making your brain waves normalize. And then the memory part of the brain and the learning part of the brain realizes, oh, the fact that I had that problem, that I had that fender bender, that I had that fight with my coworker, the fact that I had this disagreement with my teenage child, that I didn't get what I wanted, whatever the problem is, we the brain then realizes after tapping that that event is not a threat to your survival. It is not uh, a, a cue, a stimulus to turn on the fight or flight response. And that just breaks the association between the event and going to fight or flight. Our cortisol drops, our high beta brain waves go down, our alpha, theta, and delta waves expand. All these genetic changes happen in the body in a few seconds, and suddenly we feel way, way, way better. This really quick and effective method of stress release. When you use it with meditation, it's even more effective because then you're both reducing your stress during the day, you're meditating in the morning to set yourself up for a great day, and then you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, I, I want to thank you and your friend who actually taught you this because I will forever, whenever I tap, think of your buddy <laughs> with the UFO ship happens and the must <laughs> band off and the, the energy magic that you are sharing with us all. Gandalf told me this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, stay with that story. It's more interesting. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you so much. Um, for just always being here with us we, we literally love having you our guests uh our, our following always learn so much mm -hmm. and they're always so excited to have you so um how else can we help you well um i think that just going and downloading that um that free mini manual you're helping yourself and then by helping yourself you're helping the world we have a whole new group of programs releasing in the next few years around spirituality and they're all based in the teachings of this wonderful Indian sage of the early 1900s called Ramana Maharshi. And he was very, he was asked several times by people like in the 1930s, Ramana Maharshi, you know, Ramana, why aren't you out there teaching and traveling and trying to change the world? And he said, the way to change the world is to change yourself. If you want to be of help to other people, focus on your own self-transformation. So the way you can help me is just loving yourself, tapping away your stress, and then being that bright and shining being you were meant to be here. If you want to buy my books, by all means, buy my books. Go to um, that dawsongift.com site, download the mini manual, download the Stress Solution app, and do at least one session. You get a session free with a, a certified clinically EFT practitioner there. Do that free session, and you'll feel these shifts happen in your bodies. And so by doing that, you're going to become a beacon of light. You're going to start to feel much better. You're going to start to share that light with other people. And then we all are able to have an effect on the world as we are able to resolve our internal trauma and then fully be those beings of, of transformational beauty and light that we came here to be. Thank you so much. Please keep coming back with us. Yeah, thank you. This was amazing. Yeah, we love, love you. Love to. Thank you. That was awesome. This is a great introduction to tapping.